Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to find the optimal bundle from a utility function. So this is maximizing utility subject to a budget constraint. Consumer's utility function is given by the following. Utility is a function of good 1 and good 2. The price of each good is $10 and the consumer has money income of $100. We want to solve for the optimal consumption bundle that maximizes utility. First thing we'll do is form the budget constraint. The budget constraint is money income, which equals the price of good one times the quantity of good one plus the price of good two times the quantity of good two. Plugging in our values, we're told that the consumer has an income of 100, so M is 100, and the price of each good, one and two, is $10, making those substitutions we have the budget constraint. Next thing we'll do is get the marginal utility of good one. Taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good one gives us this result here. So this three-fourths on the exponent here for good one comes down in front. We subtract one from that exponent on good one and we're left with the following. We can simplify that up a little bit. This three-fourths times four will just leave us with 3, and then 3 fourths minus 1 here in the exponent just leaves us with minus 1 fourth. Now we'll get the marginal utility of good 2, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good 2. The 1 fourth on the good 2 term comes down in front, so that 1 fourth on the exponent here comes down in front, so we're left with 1 fourth times 4. And then we subtract 1 from that exponent on good 2. And now simplifying, 1 fourth times 4 is just 1. And then cleaning up the exponent on good 2, 1 fourth minus 1 leaves us with minus 3 fourths. So we got our marginal utility of good 1 and the marginal utility of good 2. Moving over here to the right, we want to form the marginal rate of substitution which is just the marginal utility of good 1 divided by the marginal utility of good 2. Plugging in our values for the marginal utility of good 1 and good 2, we get the following. And now we're going to clean this up a little bit. This good 1 here in the numerator can be moved down to the denominator. So this x subscript 1 raised to the minus 1 fourth, when moved to the denominator, uh, we lose the minus sign on the exponent, so we just get x to the 1 fourth power then. Uh, then we can add up the uh, exponents here in the denominator, so we'll just be left with x subscript 1. Likewise, uh, this x subscript 2 minus 3 fourth, we're going to move that up into the numerator. So when we move that into the numerator, we're going to lose the minus sign. So x subscript 2 then just becomes 3 fourths. And once again, just adding up the exponents, 1 fourth plus 3 fourths is just 1. We're going to be left with this nice clean result here for the marginal rate of substitution. To maximize utility, the marginal rate of substitution will equal the ratio of the price of good 1 to the price of good 2. This is simply where the consumer's indifference curve is tangent to the consumer's budget line. And we know that the price of each good is $10. We know what the marginal rate of substitution is. We already solved that. So putting everything together here, the marginal rate of substitution on the left-hand side equals the price of good 1 divided by the price of good 2. And now we're just going to simplify this up a little bit. The right-hand side just becomes 1. And then just cross-multiplying here, good 1 equals 3 times good 2. The next step is to recall our budget constraint. Here's our budget constraint from earlier. And now where we see this x subscript 1, I'm going to replace that with 3 times x subscript 2, because after all, we're told here, or we figured out when the consumer is maximizing utility, the quantity of good 1 will equal 3 times the quantity of good 2. So again, making that substitution into the budget constraint right here. Now simplifying the right-hand side, 10 times 3 is 30, 30 x subscript 2 plus 10 x subscript 2 adding the right-hand side up, and now dividing through by 40. 
the consumer will purchase 2.5 units of good two. And to get the quantity of good one purchased, take this 2.5 and plug it back into this expression over here on the left. So good one will equal three times the quantity of good two or 7.5 units. Okay, that represents the optimal consumption bundle. I will stop here.